Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel where I normally unbox and review budget tech. However, today is going to be a little different. The item I have here is definitely not budget, but it is probably one of the most affordable, fully customizable, and aesthetically pleasing keyboards you'll see out there on the market. This here is the Royal Kludge RK100 keyboard. Now I did a small review on another Royal Kludge keyboard, which was the 60% RK84. This one, I've been needing a keyboard that I can simply use to do work and follow up on emails, YouTube, and whatnot. And I didn't feel like using the gaming keyboard I currently have to do that. So, what's so good about this keyboard? Well, stay a while, listen, and let's get started. So, what's in the box? Well, we have the instruction manual, the metal keycap and switch puller, the USB-C cable, four extra blue switches, and the keyboard itself. Now one thing you'll notice about this keyboard is that all the keys happen to fit nicely in its frame. It might look a little cramped, but trust me, everything is placed with a purpose. Another thing you will notice is the weight of this keyboard. It is definitely heavier than most keyboards out there, but this does have a lot more things going on with it than other keyboards. Turning it upwards, you have the USB-C connector and two USB 2.0s that you can plug in any peripheral or gadget that needs power. Having two optional USB connections on this keyboard also saves space on your PC or laptop. Now turning it upside down, you have the on-off switch, the optional keyboard legs, and the on-off for the wireless dongle. Let's go ahead and plug this in and go over the different RGB settings and colors. Next, we'll go over the different RGB settings. Here we'll go over some of the static RGB colors. Lastly, I'm going to go ahead and switch out the keys with one of my favorite keycap manufacturers, Ponage. Now these are shine through keycaps and I've used their keycaps before for my other Royal Kludge keyboard. And one thing I really like about these keycaps is that they are very durable and they don't show any signs of degradation like how some cheaper keycaps do. 
After a couple of months, they usually start to look worn and may not have the shine through capability as such anymore, but they haven't let me down so far. So here, I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the keycaps really quick, and then I'll show you all how it looks like. One thing though that I haven't uh, really understood is that why Royal Clutch provides you with a metal keycap puller to replace your keycaps. I know that you would need this specifically if you wanted to replace your switches, but with the tip being metal, I would assume it would damage the keycaps while pulling. So I'm gonna use my spare Corsair keycap puller here. And here we have the final product. I didn't replace all the keys as I do like a bit of contrast to my keyboard. So I just decided to replace the keys I'll be mostly using, which are mostly the letters and the numbers. Now for a bit of ASMR action, let's go ahead and take a listen to the blue switches clack away. Now a lot of things to like with this particular keyboard. First off is the price. Now I know it's not a budget keyboard like I mentioned, but it is definitely one of the cheaper keyboards on the market that offer a lot of options. For $70, you get an aesthetically pleasing, space-saving keyboard that can be used wired, wireless, or even via Bluetooth. This is also very customizable as you all saw me replacing the keycaps. All of the keycaps can be replaced as well as the switches. They are all hot swappable as well. So if you prefer having certain switches be brown or even red, you have the option to change them all out. Another thing I like about this keyboard is that you don't need to download any software to change the RGB lights or settings, which you can just do with the function key. Although on the Amazon page, it did have a Google Drive link for more RGB settings and a firmware update, but I don't feel the need to have more RGB settings, and this keyboard still works perfectly with the current firmware on it. One thing to take note though is that uh, you may have an issue with the number keys. Now I am used to having a small space to divide the number keys and I found myself hitting the right arrow key where the number zero should be, but on this model the number zero is right underneath the number two. And yes, it is a small difference that you will get used to eventually, but I just wanted to point that out as that is just one thing that I noticed was a little bit difficult for me to get used to at first. All right, everybody, that was it for my unboxing and review of the Royal Kludge RK100 keyboard. I hope you all liked what you saw and found it entertaining and informative. Now, if you did, please leave a like, comment, or even subscribe for more budget tech content. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.